Hey guys, America Silverstacker here. I hope y'all all had a great three-day weekend, um, and I hope y'all were able to add to your stack. Um, today I kind of wanted to talk about a different topic, and um, it's one that's very polarizing. And um, what I wanted to talk about is whether you should buy crypto or silver and gold. And um, I'm gonna preface this with saying that I have, I was an early buyer of Bitcoin, I mean, early-ish, I was buying it in 2014 and 2015. I sold it when it hit about 20,000, made some good money off of it. Um, I, uh, to be honest, I, I have mixed emotions about it. Um, and let me explain that. I am a believer that as of right now, we will eventually move to a digital currency. And um, it probably won't be one of the main ones we currently have. The, the US government will probably set up their own. And, um, and I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> I know people, when I talk to crypto people, they always talk about how it's freedom and you know, uh, crypto you know, offers freedom to people. And I just don't see it that way. Um, I see it as what happened when um, things kicked off with Ukraine and Russia and Russia banned people from trading crypto, and, and I think they even tried to ban Coinbase, or, you know, from people from accessing Coinbase. And to me, it's, it's a good way of having everything just taken overnight. Um, or, or, for example, they, they, they make it a felony to own Bitcoin or Ethereum. And I think what is pretty dang obvious at this point of, of what's going to happen is um, they'll eventually move it to where the U.S. government has their own cryptocurrency and it's all on a ledger. You can see every transaction and um, that's probably why they're adding so many people to the IRS right now. Now, I'm a believer in you should never live in fear. Um, you know, I, I believe you should trust that God has things in control and no matter what happens, uh, Man, it kind of just needed to happen, and you'll be okay. You'll find a way out. Um, I'm a believer in that. So I don't live in fear, even though it is pretty concerning. Um, but I think, I think that um, it'll all work, work itself out. Um, you've seen where a couple countries, countries, I think like Japan, tried to roll out a, um, a, a, a digital currency, and the people immediately rejected it, and they withdrew their plans for it. So, I mean, that could also happen. People may just be like, no, nah, I'm good. Um, we're not doing that. I hope that's the case. Um, but I, um, I would rather, well, let me say something else. I still invest in crypto. I, I think it's an easy way to make a thousand percent on your money overnight. You know, there's really not many other things that you can do that uh, with. Um, in fact, you know, I have a video probably coming out within a month where I bought some crypto at the low and I'm selling it and tra trading it in for silver and gold. Um, I'm planning on doing that at the end, end of the month. So, I mean, like there's great ways, it's a great way of making money. I just don't like it as a currency, an actual currency. Um, that's just my opinion on it. Don't crucify me in the comments. Uh, Cause every, you know, who, who knows, you have to come to your own conclusion on these things. and. Um, uh, but yeah, so I, I do think that it's, it, it, if you want to make a quick buck, it's a good way to make a quick buck, honestly. Um, yeah, but I wish we were doing a currency similar to what Russia and China is setting up, um, a gold back currency, like in the early, I think, you know, 30s and 40s is when they changed it over. I was actually talking to my granddad about that, and he talked about the gold confiscation confiscation and I think the early 30s and um, they offered like 30 bucks an ounce and he said it was kind of a bizarre thing um, I wish we would go back to a gold back currency um, every debt based currency like we currently have always fails you know and something else I want to say is I've been I'm not a hater of crypto uh, like like I was an early buyer of it like I said um, you know, when I was in college, uh, all my finance professors were saying that Bitcoin is stupid and you'll lose all your money with it. And, you know, even back then I was like, well, I can see the value of it. And I could see, you know, you could, you'll make money on it, if, you know, especially back then when I was buying it. Um, so I've been a defender of it. And um, 
So I, I just wanted to add that in. I'm not a hater of it. I just don't like it as a currency. I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's good. You know, I straight up, I think it's a way of enslaving people. Um, Cause at any, I still think that there could be a very, very large rug pull. Um, and what I mean by that is there's, especially on Ethereum and certain ones like that, there's um, a select group of people that own a large portion of it. And at any point, if they just kind of wanted to manipulate it, they can, and they have before. So what's from, you know, seeing a rug pull take place where they drop it 80% and everyone freaks out and sells, and then they're able to just rebuy at a lower price, you know? So my, my argument's what's keeping that from happening and absolutely nothing, you know? Um, but like I was saying, I, I wish we would go back to a gold back um, currency like China and Russia is doing in India, um, every debt-based system ends up failing. It's just how it is. Um, you can look at history. Anytime you have bankers like we currently have, and every time they've tried to do this in the past, it always fails. Um, it needs to be backed by something, and we're currently not backed by anything. Um, our dollar is allegedly strong right now. If you look at how it's trading, it's very strong, but they are also um, they are also comparing it to other currencies, and other currencies are getting destroyed right now in Europe because of the war. Um, so it's really not as strong as people think. Uh, and I think if anyone actually believes it to be strong, they're they're lying to themselves, um, and they have their head in the sand. Um, I really do still like buying silver and gold. Um, you know, obviously, I don't think the U.S. will go back to a gold-backed currency. Um, uh, I wish they would, but it's a really good placeholder if things hit the fan and our dollar crashes. And like I said, every freaking debt-based system always collapses. There's never been one that hasn't. Um, it's set up to eventually fail with the lending practices they do. And um, so I say that to say, if that happens a year from now or a hundred years from now, I don't know, but it's probably a good idea to buy something that has always in the past held value. You know, like one of these has always held value, some sort of value. And also the, goal, uh, the banks right now are the largest owners of precious metals. So what's that telling you? That's telling you that they know something. Um, they're not idiots. So. Um, so that's my argument of the crypto versus gold and silver debate. Um, if you want to make a quick buck, it's a good quick buck. Um, but however, I like I like gold and silver better for um, a currency or just as a placeholder and um, insurance. I'll say that. But um, like I said, I you have to do your own research. Don't just take my word for it. Um, come to your own to your own conclusions. Um, but yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, like and subscribe, and if not, I'll see you sometime this week. Bye.